11 CDs, 6 records, 4 DVDs, and so much more. Man, look at that official Metallica seal. <laughs> it's like a sports item. This is remastered, and I heard some of the remastered tracks on YouTube that Metallica posted, and they sounded really good. Oh, really? Like Injustice oh. for Jason? Yeah, the bass was a little more audible. That's cool. Look at that. Feel it. It's so high quality. Nice. Feel that, Mommy. Oh wow. Okay, yes. You got the download code. That, dude, this like we need this on the computer. It's a new version. Mm -hmm. Look at this. It's like an old like a press pass. Yeah. Talk to Captain Crunch. Or VIP. Yeah. It pass. says World Tour All Area Access. Then four patches. I haven't seen all of them, so one of them is the one cover. Their money tips for scales. Yeah, I've never seen that design before. That's old. Really? Mm-hmm. Vertigo, you'll be then Justice for oh, all. Oh, dude, I think we'll do this one definitely. None of these are iron on, also, man. Destroy those posers. <laughs> oh, oh okay. Yeah, then I already have a copy of this album. Whoa, dude, this is so much wider. Mm -hmm. And the it just already looks better. It's so cool. And better sleeves this time, also. This is the first thing Metallica's ever pressed. They got into like their own record plan. Oh, really? Yeah. Dude, oh, heck yes. There is words in the middle. And it says, and vinyl for all. This is a 10-inch picture disc also. It, it's a live album. No, that's, the, some of the stuff is like new release to this. Yeah. Well, yeah. There's a lot of live albums I've heard. Uh-huh. How cool is that? Look at that. That's so cool. Nuts. That is awesome. Is that the one single? Yeah. That's just one song. So inside one, it's the song one. On this side, it's a live version of one of their older songs. I'm probably gonna hang this one up, not even listen to it. Picture discs don't sound as good, also. They sound worse than normal records. So I'm just gonna hang that one up. This is a live album. This one's three records. Wow. I don't remember that one either. This is like a shirt. Oh. That's it, a poster? Yeah, it's a poster of one of the shirt print. Oh, I like that. I used it. to have that shirt a long time ago. That's so cool. But look at that. It's. I just wanna see it. Look at that. This is the book. No, that's the folder. Then, this is a folder, the real folder that they had, the sheets that they wrote. Like the copies of all of them. Yeah. That's pretty cool. It is cool. So you get to read the lyrics like in his hand, uh -huh. his handwriting and everything. And, like, so you, and then he and, like, like crosses out parts. And whatnot. He like crosses out parts and revises them. Pretty awesome. Wait, it is, is cool. Sign? Yeah, it's got all their signatures in there from back in the day. And then, look at this giant book already. That's the sets of never before seen photos. Yeah, never before seen photos, interviews and stuff. And like, just talking about that, the whole process. Of, look at all this nice, it's like Yeah, nice. that book's gonna keep you busy for a while. Yeah, it's, a, it's huge. like filled. Yeah. Your CDs too. Yeah, and then there's Injustice for All. So the Injustice for All interviews, interviews riff oh, jams and demos. demos. That's all of that. Jams and demos. And then rough mixes from the vault. Live. Uh, and then most dude, and like this one's two CDs. Really? That's so crazy. They can put those high quality wave files. And live, live. And I'm so glad I had like hold them perfectly. And that oh then the this DVD is literally is live at Shoreline, and then this other one is is like a Lars cam that okay. he just had pointing on him, and footage in the bus. And this one is raw live footage, just in this thing called the Justice on Wheels, which is like something their roadie did. He just like filmed That's them. That's gonna be cool. Mm -hmm. Yep, see them just in their bus. But I'm so happy. Nice. Dude, it's perfect. You can see the warm rock from the East Oasis in there. Hey guys, me Ashton from Mars All Monsters, and just a little while ago, Metallica put out the 30th anniversary box set for Injustice for All, Metallica's fourth, in my opinion, best album. I pre-ordered it, and I'm gonna go over what's inside. We have the actual box that it comes in, and the, that box includes... Now, we're gonna go over what are the actual contents of this anniversary box. And first, the vinyl, it gives just the remastered version of the actual album itself. It's on double vinyl with the high quality paper sleeves with the plastic. It's awesome. And a wide opening for the records is pretty cool. And this also comes with 
and insert that is lyrics and that is sick plus head drawing. And then the other 12 inch is this Metallica live album. And then the next record is the Metallica live album, Seattle 89. And this thing is on three records, which is pretty crazy. Got that really sick tri gate fold. And then this says this was originally released in 1993 as part of one of the releases, Live Poop Binge and Purge. And they released it on vinyl. Now, I know it's live, but it's kind of hard to listen to. But I'm not super into live albums, so this is still cool to have. And then finally, we got the one 10 inch single on this side with the pus head drawing. This is the song one played normally. And then, as you hear on the album, it plays at the normal 33 and one third speed. And then on the back shows a live picture. And then on the second side, um, the song is Seek and Destroy live. Uh, and then the Seek and Destroy recording was in Dallas. Texas in 1989. Oh, and another thing about the records is that this is, I think, the first release that Metallica did with their own pressing the records with their own Metallo press. And on the Dead Wax, at least on these ones, say made on Metallo press, and it also says in vinyl for all. And now with the actual box set, the contents are pretty cool. Now this box set is more than just music. It comes with these really awesome four patches. This one is in Vertigo. You will be the one single cover. The final one is the puss head drawing of all of them and it says Injustice for All. Uh, I already know which one I'm putting on my jacket. I'm putting on the Vertigo You'll Be and my brother chose the one one. So that's pretty cool. Then it comes with a download card for digital download of all the music and it also comes with this really cool laminate that has them as like Captain Crunch. It's like a puss head drawing. It's like from their live tour. And then on the back it has the set list. And it comes with this really cool folder. Metallic on the front with some little puss head drawing. And then on the inside it shows their autographs and some stickers. And the cool thing is that it comes with a bunch of prints of the lyric of the sheets that they use to do lyrics on. I think it's just really cool. It, I think that's really neat and like special, not something you see normally. And then this is also this print of this pus head drawing that was a t-shirt design and it says the short straw has been pulled for you and just a print of it which is pretty cool. And then it also comes with this giant book which I have not read much of yet but what it is it says Injustice for All on the front and then in it is a bunch of pictures, notes, and like from roadies, just rare photos of the band in the studio and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. The book is big, it's heavy, it's not that many pages, but it's just heavy. The pictures in here are great, like, seriously, it's beautiful. Greasy men, like, look at that, it's great. I've read some of the notes, it's crazy, it's amazing. And then, uh, the final thing in the box set are the CDs and DVDs. It's called our store, and there are a total 11 CDs, 4 DVDs, and some of the years, multiple CDs in there because a lot of them are live shows, and these are stored on these are WAV files, so you have to have multiple CDs. So first, we got the actual album, Injustice for All. I have not listened to this yet. I assume it sounds almost as good as the vinyl. Then comes the booklet, lyrics, and some a few pictures, and then um. then here's a CD of interviews which are pretty cool and I have not listened to any of these yet but I'm pretty excited to listen to them. You also got riffs, jams, and demos so it's like pure guitar tracks and stuff and then also there's just a bunch of like demos of the songs, rough mixes or like that were still being written which is pretty interesting. So that would be a really cool way to hear different versions like the older versions of songs and see how they change them. And then you got ACDs, got rough mixes from the vault, it's a bunch of like rough mixes and then a live show live at the Troubadour in Hollywood. So it's that plus B-sides, which I'm confused by what B-sides means. Just covers and live songs. Like Last Crest Live, Creeping Death Live, some other songs. The Prince by Diamond Head and Bread Fan. I guess those were just meant to be put on the album or something. Or recorded in the same session. No idea. Got these, which one is live at Hammersmith Odeon in London, uh, 1988. Plus some radio edits for songs, which will be interesting to hear. And then this other one is live at Long Beach Arena in 1998. Plus more, which is... 
Oh, that means like plus one. Then the final set, which I'm pretty sure is DVD, is you got and camcorders for all plus live to the shortly amphitheater and the camcorders for all is literally large personal footage which is pretty cool and then featuring two of one home video introductions by Lars the one music video the one jamming version it's jamming <laughs> I need to hear that in a little bit the jamming version and also one at the live the 31st annual Grammy Award and I'm pretty sure we're in like the 70th Grammy. And a couple years ago, Metallica played one again on the Grammys, which is pretty cool. We have Live the Stone Balloon, Justice on Wheels, Massa Ito interviews, and raw live footage. So it's like a DVD of a live show recorded high quality. And Justice on Wheels, like they recorded a mini documentary on the bus, I'm pretty sure. Uh, plus some interviews with Massa Ito and raw live footage is like I assume live footage that's straight up just in the audience or, or like isn't mic'd or whatever. And that's everything in the box. Now I'm going to talk about the differences, downsides, and overall just a comparison of the and justice for all remaster which is this one in this older pressing which I actually have no idea when this came out I assume this is the latest pressing before the newest remaster this one um, I realized with the album cover it looks a little different this one there's no other copyright date but it's on blackened so it is a repress it says um, the serial number blackened 007-1 I have no idea when that came out First, I'm going to talk about this version. This is the older version, for I assume it came out a few years ago. I only got it for about like $25. First of all, the sleeves, not a big issue, but it kind of sucks. Metallica gave you just normal paper sleeves and they didn't have plastic in them. So what breaks this pressing, it's way too quiet. The pressing itself is not loud enough and I would turn my speakers at max volume. It felt like a normal louder volume, but it was very quiet. The thing is that when you had stops until it was so loud you could hear the turntable spinning sometimes just kind of normal but it was more it was weird for the time this sounded exactly like the album was fine except for the volume and then when i first heard about this box set when you could pre-order it i was like man they're remastering it they better turn up that bass plus they better make it louder on the vinyl and i was like man i need to pre-order this it came i listened to a whole thing on vinyl it was probably the, one of the best music listening experiences in my life the guitars you could hear everything that was being played james's voice sounded great the kick is so clicky and so easy to hear it's awesome the tom sounds really good you can, the bass is audible it makes it sound so much better it's just so great these ones came on the plastic sleeves that have plastic inside them which is cool and also the volume thing with it being too quiet it was fixed this version is so good it's like buy the cd get it somehow and listen to it it's not like the bass isn't as loud as injustice for jason thing is injustice for jason was good and all they did was raise the bass but they did more on this than just make the bass louder they like changed it just man the great The 10 inch picture disc surprisingly sounds pretty good. It's my first and only picture disc so far, and I think it sounds great. If I play it more, it's probably gonna sound bad, but I'm not gonna listen to it that much. I'm gonna hang it up probably. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope that helped make your decision if you wanted to get this box in or not. I think it's completely worth it. Like for uh, Metallica and like for vinyl. Comment down below if you got this box set, what you thought about it. If you have any other Metallica box sets, like our Facebook page, subscribe to our YouTube channel, buy our music on Bandcamp, and I'll see you later.